Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we have something really exciting to share with you. We'll be showing you how to install and set up the Accord X plugin on the Accord Code Editor for Android. Accord X brings the power of a Linux terminal right into Code Editor, making your coding experience even more efficient. So, let's dive right in. But before we begin, let's take a quick preview of what's coming up in this video. Doesn't that look amazing? So, let's get started. Before we jump into the installation process, let me give a quick introduction to Accord for all the new users out there. Accord is a powerful code editor designed specifically for mobile devices. It offers a user-friendly interface, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and many other features that make coding on your mobile device a brief. You can find a code on the Google Play Store. Just search for a code and download either free or paid onto your device. Once you have it installed, we can move on to the next step. Now, in order to use a code X, we need to install the Termix app. Termix is a Linux terminal emulator for Android that allows us to run various command line tools and packages. Head over to the any browser and search for Termix and follow the screen recording. Note, Termix is depreciated from Play Store, so only download it from FDroid or GitHub. Once it's done, we're ready to install the Acode X plugin. Open Accord and follow the screen recording. There are two ways to install Acode X plugin. First from Sidebar. Second from Settings plugin. To start using the terminal, we need to install some essential packages. For installing packages first open Termic, then run given command. Run pkg update and then pkg upgrade. That's it, the installation and setup process is completed. Now when you have to use terminal in Accord then just start the server in Termix by running a codex server. Now, let's explore some of the cool features and customizations you can enjoy with a codex. From here you can customize a code X according to your taste by changing font size, cursor, scroll setting, theme, etc. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial on installing and setting up the Acode X plugin. We hope you found this video helpful and that it enhances your coding experience on Android. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more coding tutorials and tech related content. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!